and welcome back to Sue Crafting! And apparently I just jumped off of Sunflower and now she's standing on my head. Well, that's a way to start the day. But well, hello everyone and welcome back to Sue Crafting. I am Zuki Barsiri and we are here at an absolutely beautiful lake. And Sunflower, you're still standing on my head, darling. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but, oh my gosh, there's a tower up there. Oh my goodness, Sunflower, I didn't even see that. That's so exciting, right? That's so exciting. But we are here at this absolutely gorgeous lake where it has apparently some aquatic bun buns swimming around. It's so beautiful. Look at that little channel over there. Oh, that's so pretty. There's some beautiful plants waiting to be gathered. There's a little waterfall back there. And if you guys recall, yesterday we decided to stop over here because we saw some birds down there, Sunflower. And Sunflower probably gave me one of her feathers like she's like mom you don't need more birds I'm all the bird you ever need and you are a wonderful bird sunflower don't you worry oops oops oh no I used the feather on her again oh she's going wonker donkers she's going wonker donkers eh. Eh. all right ooh, ooh, there we go Oh, I gotta remember not to right click on her with a feather in my hand because it makes her go absolutely bedonkers. But when we came down here, we saw a bird from the trees and I'm really excited. It's a new type of bird that I hadn't found before in our world. <gasps> there it is. There it is, you guys. Oh my goodness, look at it. I am pretty sure, I am 99% sure this is a kingfisher. Oh my gosh, I'm pretty sure this is a kingfisher bird and these guys are really fascinating. They get their names from being fishing birds. So they're birds that actually fish and it's really funny because yesterday we were talking about, oh my gosh, what's that noise? Is that the kingfisher? Yesterday we were talking about like fishing mice and fishing snakes. <gasps> is that a macaw? Or a kingfisher? What are you? Hello, buddy. Oh my goodness, look. There's like macaw parrots here! <gasps> oh, what a bird day! Look at these guys! Oh my gosh. And is that German Shepherds? Are those collies? Oh my gosh, I think there's collies here on top of everything. This is like the new best. Like, and there's a giant pile of pumpkins. I feel like we have to go harvest those up and like make something to celebrate. Oh my gosh! Look at you! Look at you, little guy! And onion seeds! The abundance is overwhelming! And another another little place to look at. Hi, Bubby! Are you a corgi? What are you? Let's see if I can pick you up. Alright, let's analyze what he is. It's a collie! So a wee little collie! Can you imagine having a bunch of collies and having like a really, really nice, uh, beautiful... Oh my gosh, more collies! Collies and kingfishers and parrots? Oh my gosh. Okay, hello little one! May I, may I pick you up? So this is indeed a parrot! Whoop, did I just change its color? No, no, no. I was just confused because I saw the other one. So there's parrots here. Oh my goodness. So is this a parrot or are these? <gasps> there's two of them. No way. Oh, kingfishers. Oh, kingfishers. Um, the parrots are awesome. The collies are awesome. The tower is awesome. This is awesome lake. It needs a better name than awesome lake though. And it's got a bunch of pumpkins and sugar cane, which I actually need to collect so I can make paper at some point. Eh. Oh my gosh, my out of space. Oh no! Why? How did this happen? And now I'm out of space for everything. Okay, those got put away at least. Hang on, little collies. I really want to look at you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, peat coal needs to go away. Put these away. Weird little onion seed. No, get back over here. And then put this away and this away. Uh, adventuring ore. Okay, so I've got some stuff I could chuck if chucking needs to happen. Oops. And then I need to put these in here. And. Oh my gosh, how many nets do I have? <laughs> I've got enough to catch four things, guys. And maybe we could let the snail or the butterfly go. But I really like both of them. But this is this is so exciting. Oh my goodness. Look at them, little collies. It would be so fun to have some collies uh, to herd our little sheep. <gasps> maybe to take the collies over to where we're going to put Bob the third junior and his future wife who we have just decided like probably will go into the sacred uh, sacred sapling area but I want to gently pick you up if this is a kingfisher they are really fascinating because they do uh, fish for fish 
they actually will like fly up and they'll hover over a water source and they'll like just kind of like hover 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 and then boom they just go and they dive into the water they keep their eyes locked they actually move their head a lot of animals like e humans included when you're looking at something you don't turn your whole body you just turn your eyes and then sometimes your body but a kingfisher will lock their eyes onto their little prey item out there a little fish and they'll they'll move their entire head and body to keep track of where the fish is and then BAM into the water to try to catch it. So I wonder, are you a little kingfisher? Because I would love to have some kingfishers. They can catch fish. Are you gonna catch a fish? Am I gonna see you catch a fish? <gasps> I think it's a parrot and I just picked up a parrot egg. Okay. Okay, hi! Hi you! Oh, it's a little parrot! It's a little girl parrot! And those are little boy parrots! So these are not kingfishers! They're parrots! I think we're gonna get the blue one. I think we're gonna take, since this little girl and her egg and this blue parrot seem to be like a little family, let's pick up Mr. Blue Parrot and we have to be very careful now. So we have female parrot, blue parrot, and their egg. That's what I'm saying. Are these, these, are, these are the eggs of those parrots. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, let's gently tuck them away in a nice safe place so I know where we can find them again. That was so exciting. She just like crawled up into my arms and like laid an egg in my hand. That was amazing. Oh my gosh. Is that the collie? No, that's the raccoon. And then there's collies running around. I would love to get more collies. I need to mark this. Maybe collie point? I'm not sure. I saw the parrots first. Look at all the mushrooms! These must be very happy parrots. Oh, and look at that archway. And then up there is the tower. Oh, this is too cool. All right. Oh, my gosh. And look, it's connected right here. Oh, it's so pretty, so pretty. Oh, all these mushrooms and these collies. I kind of want to take a collie with me, but I, I wouldn't have room to tame it just yet. We try to leave the animals in the wild, even though it's hard. We do try to leave them in the wild until we know we'll have space for them and an exhibit for them, unless I'm really worried, like the parrots, that they might just disappear. But the collies, the dogs, the, the wild dogs of our world are pretty wily, smart guys, so they don't tend to dash off. So I'm going to name this um, Collie Point, just because it, it got stuck in my head is Collie Point. Now it's Collie Point. So here's Collie Point. Hello, little one. Oh my gosh, you're really... Okay, I give in. I have to take this one. I don't know why, but I love her. I love her or him a lot. I kind of... Shadow. This is Shadow. Why Shadow? This is Shadow the Collie, named after the Golden Retriever, not even the same type of, of dog, from Homeward Bound. And if you guys have seen Homeward Bound, it is the most amazing, amazing sauce ever, Sunflower. All right, and I'm going to gather up some vanilla leaf plants real quick before we head back out. But we'll remember there are parrots here. <gasps> another parrot egg! Another parrot egg! <gasps> I just got another parrot egg! Oh my gosh, that's so exciting! So there are parrots here. Oh, sunflower. And there's collies here. I have to have shadow. I don't know why. I am now attached to shadow. I must, I must have shadow with me. And then we're going to look over the lake really quickly before we check out those pumpkins. And then we check out what's inside of that awesome tower. I'm hoping it's really good stuff. Alright, so what's up here? A big, beautiful birch forest with tigers in the trees. Because <laughs> everything's in the trees in this world. Why not? I really like this little island. Oh, and I see some squiddles. Oh, and look at all these raccoons. Are you Kazuma Island raccoons? Hmm? I could make you a Kazuma Island raccoon. Do you want to be a Kazuma Island raccoon? Eat little fruit. Mm -hmm. There you go, little guy. Oh, very cute. All right, so what do we have here? This is different. Have I seen you before? Yellow flag. And it can be used to make yellow dye. Hmm. I like it. I'm going to collect a few of them. There we go, and I'll put one back because it propagated. And I think it's polite to make sure we leave some of the plants behind. All right, and we're on a safe little island, so let's go ahead and put our bed down for the night. Lay our head down to rest next to these Kazuma Island raccoons. Now, give a shout out if you guys know where the Kazuma Island raccoons are from, because that's actually a zoo tycoon too. But we talk all about them. They're so cool. They're an endangered species of raccoon, a lot smaller than the mainland raccoon, kind of down around Central America, if I remember correctly. And they live on the island, and they're just little teensy raccoons. Pretty much, pretty much your average Joe raccoon, but some interesting things. What is this? We'll never know. Ah, I hate it when that happens, but you never know. Do I punch it, or do I gently pluck it up? <gasps> Look at him! Look at him! Do you guys see him? 
Oh, I see you, Mr. Creeper. I see him creeping on us. Oh, maybe he's part Enderman and just like poofed towards us. Oh, spooky. Spooky, spooky, spooky. Beautiful geraniums over there. See what I mean about being able to recognize plants? There's just something so personally satisfying about being able to go, yes, yes, that's a geranium. It looks wonderful. Beautiful little waterfall. I like it. And I want to see what these are. Ooh, it's fossils! Your guys' favorite Jurassic Craft fossils! Okay, that was nothing. Let's see if we get anything good. Nothing, 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 nothing. Ah, I don't think we got any, any DNA from there. So I'm going to have to really start searching more. Yeah, stone, cobble, dirt, adventuring ore. Oh, I'm going to keep the rotten flesh for now. Bone. Uh, raw chicken. Eh. It's hard to decide what to keep and what to throw sometimes because I can feed the dogs. Oh, and good news! Mara has done the work and she has discovered that the dogs will indeed eat rotten flesh right out of the food dish. So we don't have to worry anymore. And speaking of food, let's actually come over. Look at all the stinging nettle. There's a bazillion things of stinging nettle right there. I'm pretty sure that's stinging nettle or something of its, its ilk. <gasps> are those? Oh my gosh, I think those are roses. And I was going to say, who would go down there in their right mind and, and walk into a giant patch of stinging nettle and poison ivy? I see it right there, poison ivy. I was about to say, who would come down here in their right minds and jump into this patch of poison plants? And it would be me. It would be me because there are some beautiful, beautiful roses waiting for us. A rose without a very itchy, prickly thorn is a rose by any other name, I suppose. All right, so let's go ahead and gather these up. Don't mind if I do. <gasps> Zircon roses. Doesn't that just sound so lovely? And Alexandria, it's roses. So fancy. So fancy. All right, we didn't get poisoned or, or stung. Ooh, and there's another parrot bird. Ooh, it's so pretty. All right. Oh, and here's the pumpkin patch. All right, let's land down here, Sunflower, my dear. Oh, man, there's so many things, but I'm running very low on space now, so we need to be a little more discerning about what we start picking up. I would love to collect these butterfly butterfly bushes. I know, right, Sunflower? All right, Glorious Grafter, help us out here. I'm going to gather up some of these pumpkins. There we go. Oh, hello, little Bon Bon. I'm sorry, did I take your pumpkin? <gasps> it's a yellow rose. Oh, so pretty. A barrel rose. So I wonder... To try to make up for the fact that I just, like, stole so many of the pumpkins from this pumpkin patch area. Do I have a little hoe? That's a shovel. Dang it. Well, I don't have a little iron hoe, but if I had a little hoe, I would come in with the pumpkin seeds and, like, try to try to put more pumpkins down. So I'll just remember for the future. I need to replant pumpkins. Hello! Over, like, over here. But I actually really want to take these pumpkins and what I want to do with them. Oh my gosh! Minced pumpkin? I can do that with them? What do I do with minced pumpkin? Use on the clay pan to make pumpkin soup. <gasps> I could make pumpkin soup like that to share with my friends, or I could make a pumpkin bag, <laughs> a jack-o'-lantern, pumpkin seeds, uh, summer squash with radish, pumpkin oat scones. Basically, oh my goodness, I could chisel the pumpkins. Basically, I'm gonna give my friends some pumpkin presents. That's what I'm saying. But it actually might be kind of fun to come over here to Collie Point and just turn this into like a, a tiny little pumpkin farm in a way. That would be kind of cool. Don't don't mess with me, Mr. Mr. Boar. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. I'm going to tickle your nose if you get too close to me. That's right. You better stay back. All right, Sunflower. No, Sunflower, don't go wonky donkey. <sighs> I need to be very careful about clicking on her with her own feather. It just, just seems to set her off. <gasps> More roses. Look at these. Oh, my goodness. They're so pretty. Oh, no, no. I'll tickle you with the rose. Back off. All right. All right, good. And I kind of want those things, and that looks cool. Can't reach it, so we're going to have to just let them go. Diamond rose and citrine rose. <gasps> you can turn roses into hanging plants now? Oh, for the orange flowers. That makes sense. I would love to open up, like, a little, a little market stall and share it with everybody on the server, because that would be so cool. That's on the list of things to hopefully be on the list of things to do. So not on the to-do list. Oh my gosh, that was really cool. Not on the to-do list, but on the list of things that we hope we can one day put on the to-do list. All right. Oh, you're kidding me. What the heck is that? Other than absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh. I know we're supposed to turn around and... Oh my gosh. 
there's another one. A little one, a big one, a mystery. Something I know we're supposed to turn around right now, but this is really hard. There's so much going on. Oh, and there's like another whole colony of collies and puppies. And what is this? Where is this? That's that is is quicksand, and that is snakes, and that is a big old giant. This is quagmire. Up, oh, look at that silk glade. No way. This is a sludge pit. This is a huge silk glade. Already, it's twice as big as like it's teensy because they're not big at all. But already, it's just as big as the one that that we have next to the house. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, birds everywhere, we're in a whole new world. All right, let's land over here and see what's going on. Oh, doves, that makes me miss the Village of Light so much. Beautiful horses, look at those. Oh my goodness, everywhere we turn, Sunflower, there's more and more awesome stuff. What is that? That is a turtle swimming upside down. Look at him go. Okay. Oh, you can do it, buddy. You can do it. You can do it. Almost. Almost. So we're observing the wilds, and sometimes the wilds are silly. But here is another one. I wonder if I'm going to be able to survive this. Of the towers, and who knows what, um, what mysteries... Ooh, there's a crafting bench in there. What mysteries lie inside. Taking down the door. I'm just going to knock the whole door down. Alright. Hello? Ouch! Ouch! Okay, that was fake. Oop! The whole floor is fake. The whole floor is fake, not just the lava, it's fake and spiky. All right, let's climb up here. I'm gonna get shot, I'm gonna get shot, probably. No, okay, we're good. Ow. That was kind of funny, Sunflower. The floor was fake right there. That is kind of hilarious. I can be hilarious too, Tower. Dun, dun, dun. And there's the chest. Up, 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 up. And land, land, land. Good job, Sunflower. Mint leaves and a saddle, huh? Mint leaves. What can I do with you? <gasps> I can make mint tea! Instant health. Increase the duration of the current potion effects. Ooh. Ooh. Or I could make essential oil from the mint. I can make, make a mint cardboard box. And I can throw mint into pretty much like all of the, the other food. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure these are are from yeah this is from uh, apple milk tea the mod but either Ben or the apple milk tea modder has worked to get the mint mixed in with the harvest craft stuff which would be amazing so we have mint I was hoping for something a little more dramatic sunflower but that's okay that's okay in fact look I'm gonna be polite oh in fact here I'm gonna be really polite and let's leave something in the chest. I'm going to leave your feather sunflower so we can say we've been here and some pumpkin seeds. And I'm going to leave, uh, I actually need the sugar cane. And I'm going to put the door back on. So we're going to be polite about this tower. Oh, there's a the little turtle. So he managed, to, he managed to do his turtle thing and get back where he needed to be. All right, and up we go. And let's go see what mysteries are hiding over here, you guys. I have never seen trees this color before. Where are we? Extreme Hills Plus. <gasps> are these maple leaves? Are these maple trees? I think these are maple trees. Oh my gosh. We're going to take one down and see what happens. It's maple! These are maple trees and maple leaves for the maple the maple sapling, red maple saplings, for the maple mods, because you use the maple wood to make basically everything else in the maple tree mod. Columns and towers and decorative lamps. You use them to make like the trellises for the vanilla and the mint to grow everything, to make an engine apparently. You use them to make an illumination for the lighthouse. You use them to make, like, fence posts. Look at this nonsense. Sprinklers? Are you kidding me? Sprinklers? What? What is this? Oh my gosh. Pepper splints. 
power gears. Yeah, basically you use them to make everything. So we have now finally gotten our hands on some maple trees. Also, this is a really cool island. Look at how awesome it is. It's just nice and safe up high. I love how the leaves have like, it's like leaves on leaves. That is one of the best things I've ever seen. The leaves on leaves right there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, and then I think tomorrow on our way home, we're gonna explore this tower. It looks a little bit foreboding, not gonna lie. I mean, look at it, it's huge, it's gigantic, and it's got, it's got some interesting features, but we're gonna explore that tower, and then we will work our way home and get back to work on the exhibits and be able to turn in so many of the wonderful plants that we have collected from our world, and we found quite a few interesting new things. And we got Shadow the Collie, yay! And I have one more safari net in case we find any more surprises. So I'm gonna take a quick snooze down here with sunflowers so that we're nice and safe. We might go investigate just a teensy bit further that way just to see what lies in the outer darkness out there, if anything is there. And I will see you guys back here next time. Bye-bye.